हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई विल डिस्कस यू टूडे विथ वॉट इज एन एसिड वी आर स्टार्टिंग एसिड बेसिस सॉल्ट एंड टूडे इज एसिड सो एसिड इज अब्सटेंस विच डोनेट्स एच प्लस आय एज द ओनली पॉजिटिव चार्ज आय इन देयर एक्व सोल्यूशन ओनली पॉजिटिव चार्ज आय इफ देयर इज एन एसिड एंड इफ वी समर्ज इट इन साइड वॉटर दैट इज एक्व सोल्यूशन it should furnish only h plus as the positive charge ion it cannot furnish na plus k plus nh4 plus ca2 plus zn2 plus mg2 plus al3 plus nothing nothing it can only furnish h plus ion as the only positive charge ions in aqueous solution that is the definition for an acid so what is this why does this ion is formed see this h plus is very very unstable h plus is very very unstable it cannot remain in the solution so h plus goes and combines with h2o and forms h3o which is also called hydronium ion hydronium ion so if i ask you acids gives h plus or h3o plus so you should say acid gives hydronium ion that is H3O plus because H plus is not stable. Now the uh, the classification of acid, the type of acid. There are organic acids which are obtained from plants, animals, tissues. The organic things are called organic acid like CH3, COOH, also called acetic acid. Like we have HCOOH, also called formic acid. formic acid now this acetic acid is found in vinegar vinegar is used while making chaumin or something you must have seen the chaumin wala push, uh, puts the vinegar like this and it makes it very tasty and what is formic acid it is found in the sting of ant okay there are many other organic acid like lactic acid which is found in sour milk like the citric acid citric acid found in find in oranges or any kind of uh, sour fruits that you have okay like the lemon then the, we have uh, tartaric acid tartaric acid is something uh, you use in the kitchen that is found in the uh, uh, tamarind tree that is uh, imli or amchur you say so all these are organic acids the basic property of all the organic acid nearly all the organic acids is that they are weak all the organic acids are weak acids what is a weak acid it does not furnish that much h plus ion it does not give that much h plus ion in the solution suppose we have acetic acid ch3cooh and it goes into the solution it won't furnish too much of h plus maybe it will give some h plus and it will form ch3coo minus but not that much h plus what happens if i take 100 molecules of acetic acid only 10 5 of 3 2 molecules will give h plus remaining 95 molecules will remain like molecules in the aqueous solution all the molecules will not furnish h plus ions so what happens in the case of a weak acid which are organic acids they do not furnish total h plus ion if i ask you we have a solution of weak acid we have a solution of weak acid what will it contain it will contain ions and molecules it will contain both ions and molecules this is a very popular question of icsc that a solution of acetic acid contains ions molecules ions and molecules none so you will say ions and molecules because it ionizes but does not ionize that well okay now we come to mineral acid now mineral acid is something that you have been knowing for years mineral acids mineral acids are like hcl hydrochloric acid h2so4 also called sulfuric acid hno3 also called nitric acid h2co3 also called carbonic acid h3po4 also called phosphoric acid h2so3 also called sulfurous acid h2s also called hydrogen sulfide so there are many number of mineral acids that we have 
Mineral is something which is derived from the earth, from the minerals. We take the earth, we take out the mineral, we prepare it in the laboratory. Those acids are called mineral acids. The important one for your syllabus are hydrochloric acid, sulfuric acid and nitric acid. These acids are generally very strong, very strong. Mineral acids are very strong. If I take a solution of mineral acid, suppose I take a solution of HCl, it will furnish too much CH plus ion, too much Cl minus ion. If I take 100 molecules of HCl, all the 100 molecule will change into H plus and Cl minus. No molecule will be left as such in the aqueous solution. So, a solution of a strong acid will contain ions, molecules, ions and molecules. What do you say? Solution will definitely contain ions and ions only because it ionizes completely. Now, one very important question and you should remember this thing, carbonic acid. This carbonic acid is a mineral acid, but it's still it is a weak acid. So there is a question, a mineral acid which is weak, carbonic acid. What will the solution of carbonic acid contains? Ions and molecules. What will be the solution of nitric acid contains? See, nitric acid is mineral, nitric acid is strong. All the mineral acids are strong except for carbonic. So these are the classification of acid. Now let us discuss basicity. Of okay, now let us see what is basicity of an acid. Basicity of acid. Uh, okay, it's fine. Basicity of an acid is the number of ionizable H plus ion one molecule of acid contains. Okay, so it is number of ionizable H plus ion. It is not the number of hydrogen. The number of hydrogen is something different and number of ionizable H plus ion is different. Let us start discussing it. Let us start from HCl. So HCl gives only one H plus. So it has a basicity of one also called monobasic. Mono means one. So we call it monobasic. HNO3 gives one H plus. So again basicity one number of ionizable H plus. Again, it becomes mono basic. H2SO4 gives 2H plus, so basicity 2, so we say it di basic. Di basic. H2SO3 gives 2H plus, so again basicity 2, di basic. H2CO3, 2H plus, again we say di basic. So you must be thinking it is equal to the number of hydrogen ion. Okay, I get you the surprise. CH3COOH, acetic acid. Remember, acetic acid. Now it contains four hydrogen, but it furnish only one hydrogen. So its basicity becomes one. Formic acid contains two hydrogen, but furnish only this hydrogen, H plus. So again, basicity one. H3PO4, phosphoric acid, phosphoric acid furnish three H plus. So basicity 3, we call it tri-basic. So mono-basic, di-basic and tri-basic. And H3PO3 called phosphorus acid. Phosphorus acid gives only 2H plus ion. So its basicity becomes 2. So you must be confused for this part. This part was okay, right? Here you were comfortable, but here you are confused. So I'll give you the detail of this. Don't worry, I will give you the detail. So, in detail, the basicity or number of ionizable H plus depends upon the number of atoms which are attached with oxygen, which are attached with oxygen. Those hydrogen which are attached with oxygen are released. H3PO4, the structure goes like this. This is H3PO4, phosphoric acid. Now this H is attached with hydrogen leaves, leaves. All those hydrogen which are attached with oxygen, they can leave the molecule because oxygen is electronegative. It attracts the electron and hydrogen loses the electron and forms H+. So all the phosphorus acid, phosphoric acid, oxy acid of phosphorus have this kind of structure. So this H3PO4 has three 
removable or ionizable H plus and basicity is 3. What is this CH3COOH? The structure of CH3COOH goes like this CHHH C double bond OOH. Only this hydrogen is attached with oxygen, so only one H plus. This is in your syllabus. Don't avoid this. This you have to study in organic chemistry. HCOOH is somewhat like this. So only one hydrogen is attached with oxygen, so basicity is one. What about H3PO3? H3PO3 is like phosphoric acid, P double bond O. Now we are left with two oxygen. Okay. One hydrogen is left. So only two hydrogen, you see. This is the structure to draw P double bond O, then attach the oxygen as I did for phosphoric acid. Now you see only this hydrogen and this hydrogen are attached with oxygen. So only two hydrogen can be removed and hence basicity becomes two. So basicity though depends upon the structure, but you remember the normal one HCl1, HNO3, 1, HNO, H2CO3, 2, H2SO4, 2, CH3COH, 1, HCOH, 1, H3PO4, 3 and H3PO3, 2. So this was all about basicity of acid. Now we are going to do the Okay, so now we will do preparation of acid. So the first method of preparing an acid is combination of a non-metal with hydrogen. See, the non-metals used to form acid and metals form base. Remember this, non-metal will form acid and metal will form base. And hydrogen is always present. So a non-metal plus hydrogen gives an acid. Now this method is also sometimes called direct combination. Direct combination of a non-metal with a hydrogen atom. Okay. And also called as synthesis. Synthesis or direct combination means one and the same thing. Now let us see the first one. Chlorine in the gaseous state combines with hydrogen in the gaseous state to give HCl gas. Now HCl gas is very much soluble in water. So this HCl gas is soluble in water and forms HCl acid. It goes in the aqueous solution and forms HCl acid. Cl2, H2. So I put a 2 over here. Similarly, Br2 plus H2 will form 2 HBr. Hydrobromic acid. Hydrochloric acid. Hydrobromic acid. Like sulfur combines with hydrogen. Forms. H2S hydrogen sulfide acid H2S hydrogen sulfide acid so these are the only three uh, acids that you have to remember in this method direct combination so we have another method in which a non-metal oxide is dissolved in water to form an acid so as I am telling you non-metal form acid metal form base so I have a non-metal oxide Carbon is a non-metal and its oxide is carbon dioxide. It dissolves in water to form H2CO3. So we form carbonic acid. So carbonic acid is formed when carbon dioxide dissolves in water. Like we have sulfur trioxide. Sulfur is a non-metal and it is the non-metal oxide. Dissolves in water H2SO3 and 1. So it forms H2SO4. What is this? Sulfuric acid. So sulfuric acid is formed by SO3. Now sulfur dioxide, SO2, H2. So H2SO3. This is called sulfurous acid. Sulfurous acid. Remember the difference. SO3 forms sulfuric acid. SO2 forms sulfurous acid H2SO3 H2SO4 now this is nitrogen dioxide nitrogen is a non-metal you are thinking I am going to form nitric acid but wait this is important NO2 is a kind of mixed what is it mixed so it forms two acid HNO3 and HNO2 Learn this. This is important. HNO3 and HNO2. This is called nitric acid. 
nitric acid and HNO2 is called nitrous acid. Nitrous acid. So NO2 forms two acids, nitric and nitrous acid. So you have to remember this, non-metal oxide plus water forms acid. And remember this thing, that NO2 is a mixed anhydride. What is anhydride? An means not, hydride means water. So when we remove water from an acid, we remove water from an acid, we get acid anhydride. Acid and hydride. From carbonic acid, I remove H2O. So I get again carbon dioxide, which is acid and hydride of carbonic acid. Similarly, if I remove water from sulfuric acid, I will get sulfur trioxide, which is again acid and hydride. And similarly, this NO2, this nitrogen dioxide is a mixed anhydride. It can form nitric acid as well as nitrous acid. So this was a method to prepare acid. We take non-metal oxide and dissolve it in water to get it. So the next method of preparation of an acid is oxidation of a non-metal. I am already telling you many times that acid is formed only by non-metals. So when we oxidize a non-metal, we get an acid. So what are the things that we are going to oxidize? Sulfur phosphorus and maybe carbon. So how to oxidize sulfur to get sulfuric acid? You see in chemistry HNO3 well known as nitric acid is a very strong oxidizing agent. This is a oxidizing agent. It can oxidize anything. This is a very strong oxidizing agent. Very strong. So we are oxidizing sulfur with the help of HNO3 in concentrated form. A strong oxidizing agent. It oxidizes sulfur to H2SO4. Similarly, I use HNO3 nitric acid to oxidize phosphorus and we get H3PO4 which is phosphoric acid. So I can form sulfuric acid and I can also form phosphoric acid by using nitric acid as an oxidizing agent and oxidizing sulfur and phosphorus. There are some byproducts of this reaction. What are they? So H2SO4 plus H2O plus NO2 nitrogen dioxide. Here also same byproducts plus H2O plus NO2 nitrogen dioxide. Now what is left is balancing these two equations. I will tell you a trick to balance both of these equations. See, these equations look very similar. Sulfur plus HNO3, H2SO4, H2O, NO2, Phosphorus plus HNO3, H3PO4, H2O and NO2. You put a 6 over here, put a 5 over here. It's done. Now there are 6 nitrogen. You see where is nitrogen? Over there. So 6 nitrogen, I put a 6 over here, balanced. Let us balance hydrogen, 6 hydrogen, 2, 2, 4. So I put a 2 over here, 2, 2 is a 4, 2, 6. Let us balance oxygen, 6, 3 is a 18, 4, 2, 6, 6, 2 is a 12, 6, 18. Balanced. For this case, I put a 5 over here. So nitrogen, 5. Here is nitrogen, I put a 5 over here. Now hydrogen, 5, 3, 2, 5. Balanced. Oxygen, 5, 3 is a 15, 4, 1, 5. 5, 2, 7. Balanced. Both of these equations are balanced. Just remember, for the case of sulfur, we put 6. For the case of phosphorus, we put 5. Which is the oxidizing agent? Nitric acid. From sulfur, you form sulfuric acid. From phosphorus, you form phosphoric acid. Now, there is one more equation relating to carbon. Carbon, you see, is a non-metal. All these are non-metal. And when we oxidize carbon with the help of HNO3, we get Carbonic acid, H2CO3. Carbonic acid. Simple. Sulfur turns to sulfuric acid. Phosphorus turns to phosphoric acid. And carbon turns to carbonic acid. But carbonic acid, as I have told you, is the only mineral acid which is very, very weak. It is really weak. So it does not remain like this. It decomposes into H2O and carbon dioxide.
And what else is liberated? Like these reactions, what else is liberated is NO2. Now 6, 5, put a 4 over here. This is again balanced. 4 nitrogen, over here you put 4. What about uh, hydrogen? 4, 2, so I put a 2 over here, balanced. Oxygen, 4, 3 is a 12, 2, 2, 4, 4, 2 is a 8, 12. So these are the three reactions. In the last one, the acid is not formed because carbonic acid is a weak acid. Okay, so now we do the last method of preparation of acid. This method is used only for the preparation of a volatile acid. A volatile acid is such an acid which can evaporate easily. If you put a volatile acid outside in the atmosphere at room temperature, they will evaporate and turn into gaseous state. Which are the volatile acid? HCl and HNO3, hydrochloric acid and nitric acid. And to prepare a volatile acid, we need a non-volatile acid. Non-volatile is something which will not evaporate and that is sulfuric acid in our syllabus. So remember this uh, by heart that there are two acids in our syllabus that will volatile, that will vaporize, that are HCl and HNO3 and one which will not evaporate is sulfuric acid. To prepare a volatile acid, you need a non-volatile acid. Suppose I want to prepare HCl. So I need to take H2SO4, I have taken. For this Cl ion, I take NaCl. So what will happen? This H will come out from here and take Cl from HCl. What is left? 1H has gone, HSO4. And what is left over here? Cl has gone, Na. So it will form NaHSO4. Yes. Only 1H leaves. And to do this, I have put the temperature below 200 degrees Celsius. If the temperature is less, only one hydrogen will leave sulfuric acid and combine with Cl to form HCl. This is known as sodium hydrogen sulfate okay if you notice this reaction there is one thing uh, very particular about this reaction that sulfuric acid is dibasic dibasic means it should leave two hydrogen it should give two h plus but in this very reaction it has given only one h plus so for this reaction the basicity of sulfuric acid the basicity of sulfuric acid is not 2, it is 1. So basicity also depends upon reaction. Remember this, basicity depends upon reaction. Now suppose I want to prepare nitric acid, HNO3. Okay, this is in gaseous form. And nitric acid also in gaseous form. How will I prepare this? Uh, I need, this is a volatile, so I need a non-volatile acid. So I put H2SO4. For this NO3, I take NaNO3. What is this? Sodium nitrate NaNO3 and 1H leaves sulfuric acid combines with NO3 1H is left so what is formed NaHSO4 the same thing sodium hydrogen sulfate and temperature again below 200 degrees Celsius so this particular method is used for preparation of HCl and HNO3 in particular because these are volatile acid okay and we need a non-volatile acid in all these reactions, in place of sodium, I could have also taken potassium. So here will be K, here will be K. I could have taken K, potassium. Take it. So if I want to prepare HCl, I need to have NaCl. If I want to prepare HNO3, I need to have NaNO3. These were all the methods of preparation.